August 4th, 1964. Bureau agents discover the oldest house investigating an altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. It's a place of power. From the outside, it looks like an ordinary building, a brutalist skyscraper. But inside, it breaks the laws of our reality. Unstable, mad, shifting. There are rooms in the building where other dimensions leak in. We call these rooms thresholds. There is a connection between our minds and the unknown, often hostile forces intruding on our world. These forces gravitate toward everyday objects, a gun, a television, a house with a reputation of being haunted. So somehow, we affect these events. We're holding the key, but we don't have a clue on how to use it. We're dealing with dangerous, unknown forces here. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point, or just a necessary evil in this? We're on a mission to find answers to these questions. Or die trying. This is Zachariah Trench, the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Technology has always helped us unleash our creative potential by giving players more immersive experiences than ever before. In Anthem, head out into a chaotic and beautiful world. Fly across wondrous lands in your javelin exosuits. Confront deadly creatures. Formidable foes and awe-inspiring mysteries. NVIDIA takes us one step further by rendering our game with more precision and higher quality textures. Javelins, creatures, and combat have never looked better. We are happy to announce that we are working with NVIDIA to bring DLSS technology to Anthem. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion, but it's there. Just around the corner. And it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams. And I'm a big dreamer. happening to me. For months now I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. 
It's your grandmother's? There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. Who's in the shadows? Where are we going? Back to where it all began. I need to know the truth. Or are we the prey? She'd never be our enemy by choice. I know that. <laughs> but what if it's not her choice? The necklace? That's a locust symbol. I want it out of my head. I want it to stop. Katie. Mom! I saw you apply to the Flight Academy again. I'm your new wingman, sir. The coil. Local scum use it for cover to launch attacks. This is their turf, so move on. Keep your eyes open. No southern moves. Who the hell are you? We're OMC. And OMC belongs to Sato Khan. Is that your boss? Are we supposed to be scared of him or something? Yeah. The OMC aren't the only ones listening into comms. Ships, we're under attack by Vandal forces. Repeat, we are under attack. There have been battles. There have been losses. Each and every one of you has proven yourself time and again. We will not lose the system. We will not fall back. We will win. Because we have to. Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we're about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. Are you going to insult us with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders, one way or another. Hey, 
after this, you'll start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply has allowed the peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even running water for the people at street level. And that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safe for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side. Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water in the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you'll have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world, your own city from the apocalypse. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker.
here.
free. Holy shit! No! No, no! Spread out. 